hello youtube welcome back to the channel this is Dari Tokim i hope you're doing good all right today we're going to discuss and talk about how to create a mood look a mood look so there is no need for me to explain what is a mood look mood look is a, is a look that we often like to put on film most often so today we're going to give that film mood look color and i'm often this looks always always getting darkish uh it has some some of moody that is can give you more coming and we like to put on the fullest this type of look but today i'm going to show you how i did it and i put it into the music video as well it's no rule there is no rule of doing such things but but before me jump into the tutorial i want you to subscribe my youtube channel <laughs> all right uh most of people that are watching video are not the people that subscribe youtube so if you're just watching these tutorials i want you to subscribe my youtube channel that is going to be very helpful for me and also i have a master class first one and first two a first one talk about everything start from scratch to the finish end and phase two is all about uh the level that you already faded enough from a first one so the first two is going to be like you are the fans you are color grading but if you get the first two and you didn't get the first one you don't know anything about scratch it's going to be confused so i recommend you to get first one and i'll advance yourself to the first two the master class is available and also i have a loot package you guys know about it and i explain a lot about it and i showed so many of videos so many of my color grading and i'm telling you most of the tutorial no i mean most of color grading project that i do even myself even other projects i use my loot 50 percent of it sometimes i do sometimes i create loot from scratch so it depends on the footage or the project that i have and what color i want to achieve but the loot is going to give you a very best guide to your color grading if you have a very difficult to do it to make a look dna and have it very difficult for you to have a better skin tone because i have a skin tone and i have a look dna to the pocket okay also i want to tell you this guys i beg most of the people that come into my whatsapp they come in and say dorito came i want you to join me to the whatsapp group okay you can join to the whatsapp group but it's not like that first you have to pay or you have you have to buy one of our products masterclass or loads package very simple and very cheapest price i'm telling you being on a group is very benefit because you're going to be one among those people that we are close as family as your mentor i'm going to guide you every each time and once you do that once you do that most of stuff that's coming is very 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 friendly trust me okay let me jump to the tutorial because i don't want to waste your time listening my conversations or listening my chat talk talk let's go jump into the tutorial exactly what i've done okay so this is how i did the color grading this picture is it, this is how i did the process of color grading looking very beautiful so i'm going to i'm going to clean this i'm going to clean this like this i'm going to delete everything and start everything from scratch so i want to show you how exactly we did the process all right um about cleaning issues as i often like to tell you the same thing that i apply here all right so now i'm going to jump into the uh, color space transformation this was shots with the red camera so yeah I'm going to put the red camera, red gamma, white gamma, and this is how it look when you convert to the red seven nine. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just I'm going to. I'm, I'm going to do uh, contrast issues you guys know about it I'm going to work with the contrast just like this increase the highlight a bit the 
just like that and then I'm going to apply a false color so that I can work with an exposure but the exposure was a bit try to be good but a little reddish that I take off and super blackish I just want to make sure I have a green to the skin tone and yeah this, this is pretty nice let's take off this now you see how we perfect balance well our exposure so I'm going to make a a period note which is allow me to do my grading stuff but before I jump in further uh, I'm going to apply a codec to give me that filmic color there you can apply my loot or you can just apply a codec if you don't have my loot but my loot working nice all right so i'm going to do like this again because when i apply codecs the picture is getting a bit a bit of uh the picture is getting a bit of uh low light so i don't want that happening maybe i can put a low lights at the end of a video because i don't want to i don't want to my skin to pop out all right so next thing that i'm going to do is just looking what uh, can i do to achieve that type of look that i want and this is why often i think about skin tone we are really lose the skin tone the skin tone is very very uh the skin tone is very magenta so we i'm going to do see this look careful what i'm going to do first i'm going to put this node after that and then I'm going to play with the notes before but I really going to increase my shadow to the to the to the to the picture so that I can have a skin tone like that but before I do so I'll come here select this thing and I'm going to qualify this So it's only selecting the skin. Just like this. Okay. About mode look, we don't have a pure green like that. Because it's darkish, it's 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 darkish, it's stylish, it's cinematic. So I feel like okay, let me try to 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 put my 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 green into another emulation of color so i come into the outside node and come into color warper so if you guys don't know about color warper i'm uh, going to give a quick explanation this one is 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 like you, you are using you this you or the saturations but the difference this is very intense it's working very intense like it's having a, a lot of range in it because when i when I, I i just switch my green into these things it's only going to leave some part of color and this is not what i want i want all the pictures to be changed sorry um this node has to be outside not just like this okay i want all the pictures to be changed it's not like the picture has to some part of green get another color this is not what i want i want all the pictures to be changed the color and when i use you versus you it doesn't give me the results that i want to get so i was like let me try to something let me let me make another note like, like this outside now yeah just like this let me try to make it very 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 uh huge changes so i'll be like okay this one can give me the result that i want like i'm putting here into this side and the green is kind of look like 
it's tear so I'm going to put I see the tear side you see how change it's made how you change it's made and it didn't affect the skin tone is it because i qualified the skin tone so i want only to affect another part of image except the skin tone i just want it to affect only or uh, to the background of those grasses but the skin tone has to be there where you can see and then i'm going to increase the skin tone like that So now you are see now you are see how we separate the picture. So I'm coming near this side. I'm coming to offset, bring it back to make very cooler at the background, and keep increasing my skin tone. You see now we are very separated the picture. All right. So another thing that I'm going to do is just coming and qualify this blue because the this this hair is looks very greenish so i want the hair to look pure black so this is what i'm going to do i'm going to do see this and i'm going to qualify I'm going to qualify and mask the part of hair so that I can protect other things like the shirt, the clothes, like stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm coming here and go to the opposite side of hair, like this side. Now we really get a very pure and reduced saturation. Now you see how how far we protect. Oh, something not right. Is it because we we select the grasses? So I'm going to I only want her to be affected just like that, you see? So how you see now how far we protect the uh protect hair all right and this is how exactly i just did to make this type of color it's not like we are finished huh? not yet so i'm going to make another node which is giving a depth picture i'm going to give a depth a picture i'm going to make it look uh very darkish in, in, into the background and make it popping to the subject so i'm going to masking them and vignette this thing and coming here pull it down So now you can see how popping we just made to our pictures so this is about our skin tone the first skin tone was skin tone is too i mean it's too ready so i bring it back a bit and this guy over here 
to neutralize the skin to take off that reddish to the skin and as well as I'm going to bring back the saturation of our skin so now you can see how far with a front or a picture until it's getting that it's not like like this is finished or there is a lot of things that you can make it or you can do to juice up your pictures thanks very much for watching uh as i told you as i told you let me do a quick review let me do a quick review uh this is car space transformations this is curve issues this is exposure this is white balance this is balance not white balance it's balance is where i brought it back the skin tone because it was never existed and this is just uh loot which is film loot and this is just um pull up the skin tone so that i can have more separation and this is where i just did separation of a picture between the background and the forehead and this is more juicing cool up the image once again because when i push the skin tone up and pull up the skin tone up again with with this qualifier uh it, it had a bit of warming tone that i didn't like so yeah and this is cleaning up uh hair and this is about to pop the image to make the background very uh very 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 low light and pull it i leave the the, uh, the subject just like that and this is cleaning up the image so yeah you can see the difference here because this is i'm doing quick and quick but this is exactly what i've done to the other picture if you can watch here it's almost there even this one is almost there because this i took so much time to create in this but this one has just did it quick and quick but it's looking similar sure okay that's it that's it that is how we just did this color grading thanks very much for watching this video this is dorito kim i hope you understand something from here so now you don't have a problem about creating a mood look it's a very simply way of tone and as i told you as i told you following my step if it give you benefits if it doesn't give you benefit benefits you can follow another way of doing a color grading and i have so many ways that i've done to the color grading and i explain about it so i have different way according to the picture how are they see it's not like see me what i do exactly so you're going to apply this to your footage it depends on what type of footage you have in there so you have to learn and put the knowledge into your mind so when it comes to your footage you will be like okay this one i have to do this and this because you already have a knowledge you not know, like copying paste what i'm doing because what i'm doing today you now it's not like i'm going to do tomorrow in another, another project so you have to keep it that your mind and to get that knowledge it's not like you come on youtube and get that knowledge master class is everything to you see you guys on next project